hello everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to create a simple javascript project so this is a bulb here and it is currently turned off but if we click here on the bulb then it is going to be turned on and if we click it again it is going to be off so this is a tiny project and without any further ado let's get started So at first I am going to create the markup, it is not a match because only there will be a title and a bulb. So I am just going to create a div with the class of container and inside this container I am going to use an ASON tag. Let's give it a class of title although we don't need that. Let's add some test here. Click the bulb to turn it on and off okay now after that i'm just going to put an image here i have got two images in the source file so these two i'm just going to show you show it to you in the vs code so this is the turn on image and this is the turn off image so we are going to actually exchange the image whenever we click on the image okay so let's add the turn of image first so i'm just going to add an image with the id of maybe light bulb so it is the light of dot jpg and this is our image now we are going to do some stylings basic stylings to make them centered okay at first i want to remove the basic margin and padding from the browser so let's make the margin zero also the padding zero box sizing border box okay after that i'm just going to target the body let's give it a height of 100 viewport height a display of flex let's make them align item center and let's make the font family to sans serif okay after that i'm going to target the ASON with the class of title let's make the text transform uppercase and also let's give it a margin at the bottom of maybe 10 percent so it will have some gap with the bulb here after that let's target the container and i'm just going to give this a color of maybe uh, 333 now let's give it a margin 0 auto now it will be at the center also text align center okay here we go so everything is fine now we are going to move on to the script.js and change the image whenever we click on the bulb okay so in script.js i am just going to create a function here and whenever we click on the bulb the function will be applied so let's create a function I'm just going to name it bulb toggle. Let's create a variable here. I'm just going to name it bulb. And we are going to use it to get the bulb here, which got the ID of light bulb. It is going to get the entire image element. And then we are going to target the source and change the image. So I'm just going to copy the ID name and document dot get element by ID and this is our ID. Now we can do a simple if check if the bulb which is this element this uh, variable here so it is going to get the this element and then it is going to get the source not this called src which is this attribute here then if it match dot match this one so now currently it is light off so if it match the light off then it is going to change the bulb dot src to light on dot jpeg okay so it is going to check if the bulb dot source which is this one is light off if it is light off then it is going to 
get the bulb and the shards and replace it to light on dot jpeg okay simple as that we can also run an else statement here so if the bulb is currently light off then it will replace it with by the light on but if it is not the light off that means it is the light on so we need to put the bulb dot src to the light off dot jpeg okay so everything is fine but how do we apply it on the bulb we can do it by two ways we can either add a event listener with the bulb or we can directly apply it here so we can use the on click for that so i'm just going to do it here on click and whenever we click on that it will run the function here which is this one so i'm just going to copy this and paste it here so i think it will work just fine let's see and now it is working just fine so this is our tiny project and I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give the videos a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.